Hi, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar on how to supercharge your coaching business. This is Panos here from LearnVolts. Welcome. I see many people logging in, so we'll just wait a few seconds until as many as possible are set up, and we'll start right away with our presentation. Let's get on with our presentation. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about coaching, and how we can automate and scale your online business, how we can truly transform the way you coach. This is why we have uh, collected here a lineup of, uh, of experts who can uh, unlock uh, secrets for you, who can share the way they do things and the way they help their own customers and their own businesses flourish within the coaching, uh, the coaching space. Uh, so the agenda for today's presentation, we're going to talk about, obviously, who is this webinar for and whether you're at the right place at the right time to hear what we have to share with you. What you will learn today, we'll be introducing the speakers. I um, mentioned to you a couple of coaching trends, things that we see from our over 6,000 customers from around the web and things that we, that we learn uh, every day. And also a couple of ways, just uh, 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 do a little review of a couple of ways that you can monetize your coaching uh, business. And hopefully these are things that wherever you are in the in the business in your business curve, whether you're just starting out, whether you're an experienced coach, whether you're somebody who is just getting a traditional coaching business to an online setting, hopefully these uh, learnings will be things that we will be able to put into into good use. And obviously, a couple of Q and A sessions. We want to make this as interactive as possible and get you into the discussion as well. So our our business our our topic for today is how to start or expand and grow. A coaching, uh, a coaching business. Uh, and who is this event for? Whether you're starting or already running your own coaching business, whether you're a coach, a mentor, or a consultant looking for smart ways to scale your business and to find, uh, to be able to address a larger audience, or whether you're already an existing uh, coach and you're offering offline services and offline coaching, and you're trying to, to find smarter ways to, uh, to, ad to address a bigger, a bigger market. This is something that we, we see frequently. Obviously, all these things uh, blew up during the, the first stages of the, of the pandemic. And so many people discovered online business model and what the business models and what the online world can do for you. If you're a traditional coach, if you're a traditional mentor, if you're a traditional teacher, how many hours per day or per week can you teach or can you coach or can you mentor? 30, 40, 50, this is, today we're gonna also be talking about ways that you can do that smarter in a scalable way, uh, help you automate things, uh, help help the, use the technology to help you scale your business so that you can establish your coaching business, make it more versatile, make it more scalable, create your coaching program perhaps once and sell it dozens or hundreds of times uh, addressing a global audience. This is this is what the power of automation and the power of technology can do, even in a in a space that uh, that seems mostly uh, so far to happen on a on a one on one uh, basis. So if you fall into one of these categories, uh, I think you will find some uh, great uh, learnings today from our uh, from our uh, uh, expert uh, guests. So what will we be talking about today? Strategies for growing and scaling your business. Obviously, that's something that everybody, uh, uh, it's always at the top of the mind of our, of our customers. And this is something that we're, this is why we're trying to get answers from some of the best uh, people in the, in the field and share them back with you. How you can create more passive income through your coaching program. That's the holy grail of any, uh, of any businessman or businesswoman how you can earn more with less, how you can get more added value out of the, the, the fruit of your, of your labor, and how you can use the technology to your advantage. Not anything has to be super manual, not everything has to be uh, done with, uh, with sweat and blood. Let's see how we can help you do things in a, in a smarter and more efficient way. And also we will, presenting, we will be presenting some tools for running a successful online business on autopilot, or at least as close to that as is uh, possible with, uh, with today's uh, technology. 
So even though we will be presenting, and Elisa will be doing an expert job in that, even though we're presenting learnables as a platform, that's not a, a sales pitch. We're just showing what the platform is capable of. Obviously, some of these things can be can be done with uh, with uh, other other tools or using multiple other tools. But we have done an amazing job recently in again driven by the great push for and demand from uh, from coaching businesses and expert coaches. We've done a, a super job in uh, expanding what the platform is able to do for coaching professionals uh, such as yourselves. So let's see if we can cover some of the things that you that you need. So uh, here's uh, here's where you we are today. Just uh, Sean, allow me to mute him because I didn't. Didn't think you realized we were talking right now. So let's present our esteemed guests. Obviously, I'm Panos. I'm the co-founder and uh, one of the co-founders and CEO of uh, of Learn Worlds. Today we have uh, the amazing team from Course Creek with us. We have Robert Lunte, who is uh, who is the owner and the coach at um, at Course Creek. He's, he's a renowned international educator with 20 plus years of experience in the e-learning industry. Uh, lots of courses. A great uh, portfolio, uh, with uh, including books as well. Uh, he has reached more than 100,000 students in 179 countries around the world. And uh, Course Creek is a is a business that helps coaches, authors, and companies to monetize their expertise via online cohort programs and blend and curriculum products. And with him, we have Vince Alagun, who's a senior instructional designer and project coordinator at Course Creek. He has over a decade of experience in uh, learning and development specializing in instructional design and project management. He has been trained in developing engaging curriculum for cohort programs for coaches. And Oret SLM, a senior implementation manager and funnel specialist at Course Creek. Again, over a decade of experience designing and developing e-learning websites for coaches that convert their visitors into clients. And she has worked with hundreds of business coaches across many different industries to create seamless customer journeys that utilize cohort and self-paced strategies. So they will be sharing their uh, experience in how they've set up some amazing uh, amazing uh, coaching schools. And hopefully this is something that uh, you will be able to use uh, yourselves. We have Elisa Chani with us today, learning designer here at, uh, at LearnWorld. She's an e-learning designer and an experienced public speaker. She's doing more, all of our amazing presentations. She has a background in IT. And over the years, she has helped hundreds of trainers and course creators to create amazing e-learning materials and, uh, and publish them in the online course platforms such as LearnWorlds. And later on, we have with us, we will have with us Sean Callagy, who's the Chief Visionary Officer and Co-Founder of Unblinded. Sean, founder of Unblinded and, and Callagy Law, is a highly successful coach and trial attorney who trains on the superpower of influence and how it shapes our money, time, and magic. Uh, he has raised recently more than $2.6 million for Ukraine uh, in, a, in a public setting where they were hoping to get about 200K. So that shows something about uh, what uh, he, can, um, he can do. He travels the world speaking on stages, including Tony Robbins, and trains companies like Walt Disney, Salesforce, T-Mobile, and more. So um, um, just a couple of things uh, from me to set the stage for coaching and to make sure that... Uh, we are all at the same page, and then uh, immediately I will pass over the baton to Robert and the Course Creek uh, team. Some coaching trends, things that we see by talking with our customers and by analyzing the, the industry. We have an internal team here at LearnWolves that analyzes all the customers and analyzes all the course trends that we see out there. We are seeing that coaching professionals have increased by 33% in the, in, the past, uh, three, in the past five years. And that's something that not only shows the demand for uh, coaching, and these are the fully full professional uh, coaches, those that have coaching as their uh, main source of income. Obviously, as you can imagine, there are probably 10 times more who have uh, coaching as a, as a side gig or as a, as a side uh, occupation. Uh, these are the full coaching professionals in the, in the different regions. Huge uh, increase, in the, which shows the, the, the demand for, for coaching, but also shows what the comp competition is it's like, which means that even if you're an established coach, you cannot just rest on your laurels. You have to be to, to put your best foot forward and you have to be able to develop, to adapt to the situation and to what the market demands. So lots of demand, but also lots of competition, and we have to stay sharp with whatever means we have. 
the value of global online coaching programs is is the, the, the size of the addressable market is also uh, increasing uh, at a calculated rate of more than 13% per year, which means that the potential for uh, uh, that the potential for for coaching the demand is huge. As you can see here, the demand at the size of the market by 2030 is going to be uh, more than $4.5 billion. So as you can imagine, this is a huge market. And let's see how you too can set yourself up for success for getting a piece of that, uh, a slice of that uh, large uh, pie. What we see so far in 2022, and this is by after talking to hundreds of coaches that use LearnWorlds or don't use LearnWorlds, hundreds of successful coaches, we see an increase for online, live, and self-paced coaching so that they can reach underserved audiences. What the platform can do for you is that they can, it can help you specialize and tailor and segment all your different programs. That's something that obviously you can do on a one-on-one -on -one setting, but once you're trying to, to reach dozens or hundreds of students, this kind of adaptation and specialization, it's not possible anymore. This is where an online tool, an online platform can help you to unlock all these different uh, micro segments. Also, an online coaching pres presence unlocks revenue sources. Yes, traditional coaching directories and businesses and one-on-one -on -one, uh, referrals, let's say, and word of mouth still work. But increasingly, we see that if you're not online, you don't exist in the eyes of some potential customers. So you have to make sure that you have a stellar online presence. And, uh, and also, the easier you put your content in front of your potential customers, the easier it, it will be for them to access your courses, get to know you, uh, you to, to trust you, and then to choose one of, their, uh, of your courses. And also, we're seeing more and more micro niches and specializations in coaching. Again, based on the, on the above, it's much easier now, but it's also even more necessary now more than ever to be able to target in, a, in, in an atomic, unique way, if possible, the needs of your potential customers. So uh, mass specializations, if I can put it that way, the need to get your generic coaching products to make it feel as special as it had been created for a one particular individual, this is one of the needs and one of the trends that we that we see going uh, going forward. Predictions for coaching business going forward. These are some predictions coming from us. Uh, we see a move towards blended and hybrid coaching product uh, programs. These are programs that will increasingly combine the physical space and the digital space, whether it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting, whether it's a physical meeting, that can also be complemented and extended and upgraded by the means of, um, of digital access and the digital coaching program. We see the rise of business and career coaching due to the great resignation. So the demand for coaching and mentoring from businesses is increasing. More and more businesses are trying to do the best for their employees and coaching is a big part of that. So more and more customers are coming to us and they're saying, oh, I have a new coaching customer who's a large business and I have to train their 500 employees. I have to provide coaching services to them about conflict resolution, about productivity, about work-life balance, whatever. So there is a, a much bigger demand there from coming from existing businesses. And obviously, because it's 2022, because we are hopefully post-COVID, in a post-COVID era, we see the need for digital transformation in order to be able to just have a business online and be able to compete. So new tools, new software, new automations, things that will make your job easier and will let you focus on what is important, how to create the best possible coaching programs and how to deliver that to an audience that is waiting for this kind of, uh, of information. And just super quickly, before I pass over to, to Robert, different ways of monetization. It seems that here at LearnWoods, we discover we, we we discovered a new business model every week from our from our customers. More and better ways to package content, repackage content, sell, upsell, resell, cross-sell. We see people selling one online courses, simple self-paced courses. We see them sell one-to-one -one access to a coach or a mentor, group coaching, cohort-based programs, subscriptions and memberships, packaging, let's say, different kinds of uh, traditional self-paced courses, 
We see hybrid and blended coaching programs that combine offline and the online world. Physical products that sometimes come along with their products, such as books, kits, uh, hardware, software, whatever this may this may be, and also uh, all sorts of business relationships through affiliations, through marketing, different modes of, of marketing. So many, many opportunities. Let's see what we will be able to uncover today. So Robert, the, the button is over to you and your team. Let's uh, hear about some of the things that you are uh, you uh, you can share with our with our team. Thank you, Panos, and fantastic uh, presentation. There's a few things that we'll both be touching on. Um, nicely done. If I could get uh, screen share capabilities. Thank you. All right. Oh, hang on here. Let me get to the my first slide. Okay. My name is Robert Lunty. I'm the uh, founder, owner, lead project manager, customer advocate um, at uh, Learn Worlds, or excuse me, at uh, Course Creek. Um, a little bit about myself. I spent about 25 years in another life as a coach developing online courses, self-paced courses. Uh, currently, there's about 11 courses in five languages, and we now have two cohort programs running as well, includes the best-selling book. I like to mention that because I do want you to realize that uh, the folks that you're going to be meeting today on my team, we've done this before. We're leading by example. We launched Course Creek about three years ago, um, and it uh, um, has been gangbusters. Uh, we, we have about 52 clients, and most of those clients are running on Learn Worlds. What I'd like to talk about real quick is common mistakes that people make early on, uh, coaches make early on when they're interested in doing an online course. And this is experience that comes right from the front lines. Myself and my team today, we work on the front lines every single day, talking to coaches, feeling their pain, listening to their needs. And um, you know, out of the gates, these are sort of the things that we hear often. And I want to help you to not make these mistakes. Number one, they, they tend to purchase the wrong LMS for the course and the product and the business model and the marketing that they need. Not all LMS platforms are the same. In fact, all of them are different. They have strengths and weaknesses. We, we tend to be very partial to learn worlds, but, but it's important that if you want to create a digital product, you get expert advice from people that have worked on these platforms before. Two, um, what we see often in regards to instructional design is coaches will tend to take their course ideas, write the titles of what they perceive to be the lesson, and line them up in a in sort of a, um, a sequential order. Um, so you've got lesson titles in an order on a page. And I'll, I have to say that that is okay. Um, that's actually a good viable version one. But just lining up a bunch of lesson ideas on a page in a sequential order is not a full curriculum. That's not a storyboard. In order to make a course truly engaging, you have to have professional instructional design that makes the content, well, engaging so people will, are sticky, they'll, they'll stay with your course, uh, puts the learner through a transformation and gives them takeaways and has all kinds of fun engagement elements, which Vince is gonna talk about later. All right, so get instructional design. If you don't have it, you'll run into a minefield of problems and gotchas that are gonna come at you later on when you get to the production stage that you're not ready for. Um, new coaches tend to lack awareness about um, content creation. When we do courses, content creation isn't only what we're doing today, sort of talking head on a camera. Now, talking head on a camera content is probably going to be, you're going to have some of that in every course to some extent. It might be the most important is where we start, but it's important to realize that if you want a truly engaging course, look deeper into other technologies that are pretty cool that can help make a course um, engaging, such as authoring tools like, like Articulate 360, um, art, artificial intelligence avatars like Synthesia, um, text to voiceover slides and that sort of thing. There's a really a lot of neat things that can be built for you. So be sure to look into that. Uh, they fail to recognize, recognize that courses can be sold to B2B, all right? Oftentimes we, we talk to coaches that have curriculum that are suited for the enterprise, suited for B2B sales, not just um, business to customer. 
And um, here lies one of the reasons why, why we love Learn Worlds is because the Learn Worlds is SCORM compliant. We'll get into that a little bit more later. SCORM just essentially means it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a protocol, a file protocol that allows you to sort of zip up your lessons and make them portable so that the enterprise can license your content. So, so when you think about being an online, uh, uh, being a, a course creator, I invite you to think big. We can always take care of the B2C, but you might have a, an opportunity, exciting opportunity to get into the enterprise. And you have to, again, make sure that you have the right platform for that. Um, and uh, new coaches are need to sort of ramp up and learn quickly about market funnels, how we funnel traffic to your website, how we nurture that traffic, capture that traffic and help convert them into emails and sales and build trust and nurture. Arita will be talking about that a little bit later as well. Um, benefits to coaches, which Panos went over very nicely, I'll just go quickly, is first and foremost, in my personal, my personal opinion, the benefit to a coach on digitizing and monetizing their expertise is it gets you out of only selling your time. Now, selling your time at the right fee is, is great. I, I think that that's something you probably should be doing, but if it's the only thing you're doing, there's a high risk that you'll burn out. Many of you may already be burning out from it. So this is one of the main reasons why uh, online courses and cohort programs are, are super super valuable. It's, it's what changed my life as a coach is getting the scalability and getting an, a way to get my expertise out other than just selling my time. It's not sustainable and it's not scalable. Um, online courses open up new markets. I thought Panos made a really nice point on that in that what we see is when we start building self-paced courses and cohort programs for our coaches, it's not just Typically, they're not going out to the, they may be going out to the same folks in the same markets that they've been talking to as one-on-one as -on -one coaches, but oftentimes the online course product that we build together helps them penetrate new markets, new demographics that they would not otherwise have an opportunity to get to. And that grows your business and it grows your funnel. Obviously, passive income is always attractive. It adds authority, helps give you authority to the market. Making an online course is very similar to writing a book. It gives you a, a sort of a cool authority. And, and oftentimes, if you are an author, if you do have books, courses and books complement each other very nicely in the funnel. A lot of our clients using uh, Learn Worlds are authors. And we love to work with authors because they come ready with ideas and content ready to go. It just needs to be repurposed and, re and translated to an online course. Online courses, especially live programs like cohorts, help build a tribe, they help build a community. If you have a tribe and a community around your IP, around your ideas, you're gonna get so much more success out of your business and your learners are gonna get so much more out of what you're teaching. And last but not least, I always like to say that like a book, making an online course can help you build a legacy. Not only while you're here with us, but beyond. Having an online course can help you, um, you know, pass on your knowledge. And I don't want to sound sort of morbid, but it's true. And that's, that's something that from time to time is an interesting aspect to many coaches. You can kind of create your ideas, get them solidified and deliver it to the world. And it will always be there for people to enjoy and learn. Um, there's more than two strategies, but we're short on time. Fundamentally, there's two kinds of courses that require unique instructional design and unique building and new unique implementation. First, there's the self-paced course, the asynchronous course. The self-paced course is sort of the online course that you might first be thinking about. It typically has static content, probably a lot of videos or voiceover text slides. And the benefits of a self-paced course is it allows students to study at their own pace. Some people need that. Um, another benefit of the self-paced course is it's a one-time transaction. So in some sense, you're not totally off the hook, but in some sense, you can kind of sell and you're done. So for, for the person who has a day job and a busy life and what have you, and doesn't have time to get in front of a live class on a regular basis, a self-paced course can be a great way to, um, to you know, kind, of, kind of get a side hustle and, and augment your business. And it's less sweat equity, more time for you to live your life if you're doing a self-paced. However, 
as panels also pointed out, the trend is moving towards live training cohorts, okay, and blended learning systems. This is what learners are demanding. So there's some benefits to the live training cohort. Um, you can make a more personal connection with your learners, and some coaches require that. You can create the community that I spoke about earlier. And um, learners learn more effectively, obviously, when you're in front of them and they're in a classroom with peers and they can feed off each other. So the learning experience, the, re the retention of what you're teaching goes way, way up in its quality. And live training cohorts, because it's a recurring revenue model every month, every quarter, it's just, a, it's, it gives you better revenue. You can grow your business much better that way. So if you're super passionate about teaching, if you're super serious about people really getting something out of your course more than a self-paced, and you want, you have the time to put into it and build it into a bigger business, then then we're here to help you or anybody that knows how to do this here to help you build a cohort or a blended program. By the way, sometimes you might refer, you might hear the term blended program. That means a combination between self-paced static content and live coaching together. So that's a, also a very common way to do things. Moving right along, I mentioned earlier about how it's important early on to be planning and thinking about how your course and your marketing might appeal to big companies, big enterprise companies. And you have to plan early on for that, okay? So I wanna take a moment to give you a slide on this idea because it is so important. And it is, again, one of the reasons why I personally, speaking for myself, I think my team will agree with me, is Learn Worlds is just great for this. Um, and I'm not here to sell Learn Worlds necessarily. I'm just passionate about it. I think the platform's fantastic. My customers love it, all right? so. In order to license B2B customers, right, you have to have those SCORM files that we were talking about. So those SCORM files are designed inside authoring tools, fancy software that guys like Vince work on every single day. And we don't have enough time to go into all the details, but, but Learn World is SCORM compliant, which means you can do really beautiful enterprise type content creation with authoring tools and it gives you that portability and ability to license, all right? So I think it's super important and it's something that as your consultant, when I'm working with clients, I want you to take a serious consideration for. And um, this is a the value ramp customer journey. Panos showed a slide towards the end of his, his presentation that had the different kinds of um, services and different kinds of products and services that coaches are migrating to. In a sense, this is this this is a similar slide saying the same thing. But what I've done with this slide is I'm showing you what we call a value ramp, a value ladder, or a, and a customer journey. The lower you go down on this ladder, um, for example, where it says lead magnet, the less I'm oversimplifying, but the less it costs the 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 the, the customer. So a lead magnet is typically the freebie that you get from the pop up and that sort of thing. Okay. Then right above the lead magnet is an on-demand course, and that's synonymous with self-paced. We were talking about self-paced courses today. You build it, you're done, you walk away from it. It's probably a lower price because you're not going to be there to support as much, but it sits in this, this position in the value ladder. Now, I personally, personally with my courses, would do you know, over a quarter million a year only on self-paced courses, okay? And it's partly because I'm able to penetrate with my self-paced course, a market that I would never otherwise penetrate with my cohort and my full course programs, all right? So I'm running a funnel that looks similar to this. Above the on-demand course is the cohort course. That's the live training. It's gonna be more value to the learner and more value to you and your pocketbook. Above the cohort is the masterclass. A masterclass is a focused, four to five hour event. It's an event where you bring in your cohort folks and they get a little extra more value from you in a true masterclass. And then above the masterclass, we have different ways of selling your time. So it's presumed by looking at this graph that when by the time we get to one-on-one -on -one coaching, consulting and retainers, that the fees for those retainers are gonna be worth your time. If you catch my drift and what I'm, and what I'm laying down here, okay? So when you are thinking about online courses and, and monetizing your expertise, again, I'm encouraging you to don't just think about a self-paced course or just only a cohort. Think about the total customer journey. Think about the value journey. And 
and make sure that you're working with someone that understands these and can fill in the holes and can build this architecture out for you so the whole thing can be automated and you're not selling one or two things, but you might have you know, four or five services all lined up, automated, working properly. And you have to have the right platform for that. Last but not least, just again for me, a little summary, why I recommend Learn Worlds. Robert recommends Learn Worlds because it is SCORM compliant. It allows you again to be B2B. Um, according to my implementation managers, people like Arit, it's more beautiful to design on than their competitors. Um, it's just gorgeous. I love the way it looks. It allows you to have multiple teachers, marketplaces, and schools. It's well done for schools. So if you want more than one coach or more than one course, it's fantastic for that. The engagement features are really super cool. That is to say, like the little cool little features that will engage the learners and keep them interested in having fun inside the course are fantastic inside Learn Worlds. And the customer support for our team and our clients with Learn Worlds has been outstanding, honestly. So um, that's why I'm personally excited to be here and we're having a good time. If anybody's interested in getting some help with online courses or want some, want some, uh, you know, some advice, I, I am available for a quick 15, 30 minute discovery call, obviously on Zoom, and I'll share my link with that. And I highly recommend that you run out and you, you do a trial with Learn Worlds. Uh, because I'm a partner with Learn Worlds, we can offer you a special little deal here to save you a little bit of dough on the front end for the, uh, for the trial. And I'll drop this information into the tech system later. And um, that's it, I'm done. At this point, thank you for your time. I hope that's helpful for you. I will make my deck available to anybody that wants it later. And now I am going to hand off to my brilliant instructional designer, Vince Alagon. Thank you, Robert. Um, can you allow me to share my screen first? Yep. All right. So again, thank you for that, Robert. And uh, good day to everyone joining us live today. My name is Vince, and I am Course Creek's Instructional Design and Project Manager. Uh, I have over a decade of experience in the field of learning and development, and I specialize in instructional design and project management. So I have worked with multiple companies before to design and develop their onboarding, new hire, upskilling, and leadership training. And I am here today to discuss uh, the importance of instructional design in building an online course. So most, most of us here have great ideas, um, expertise, skill, um, knowledge that we would like to share to the world through online courses. And in the process, we might get stuck with the challenge of creating a course outline. Uh, we have a lot of topics in mind, but we don't know which one to focus on or include in our course. Or how are we going to deliver our content that will make it easier for learners to consume? And that is why um, instructional design is very important when building an online course, whether it's self-paced or live training or those cohort classes. So let's first define what is instructional design. Simply put, instructional design is the idea of creating learning experiences in such a way that makes consuming knowledge easier and more efficient. This applies to the way your course is structured, designed, and delivered. So if you don't have like a professional instructional designer work on your course, it can lead to an incoherent syllabus, a course that doesn't engage well to your audience, and a course that doesn't properly reinforce the learning to your students. So um, if you apply instructional design to your course, you will go through ADDIE. So it is a principle or uh, a structure that instructional designers and training developers use to create an effective and appealing educational experience. And ADDIE stands for um, an Analysis, Design, Development, Implementation, and Evaluation. Though we won't go through the details of each phase, but we want to highlight these two phases, which is design and development, because this is where most of the work happens. So let's start with the design phase. So this part is where we determine the learning objectives. And from there, we can start to do the lesson planning. And we will identify the media that you will be using to, del to deliver your content. It could be a video. Um, it could be some interactive uh, blocks that we can insert in your course. And how are we going to check for the understanding using the different assessment instruments that is also available in uh, Learn Rules? 
And um, what are those activities that we can use to reinforce the learning of your students? Now, everything that we will determine during the design phase will be documented in your storyboard. So this one serves as your blueprint, and uh, this is where we will be organizing your content. So if you take a cl closer look at it, uh, we'll identify chunk uh, of modules or sections and those different individual lessons and your instructional design will definitely help you identify the best way to deliver that particular content in your uh, module. It could be, again, videos, those interaction, uh, those reflection, reflection journal that um, you can use so that they can reflect on what they've learned in that particular module or those assessment or toll gates so that we can check for their understanding. And uh, this one is an example of a storyboard that we created for a self-paced training. And this is an example of um, a storyboard that we created for a cohort training. So it's quite different because uh, for cohorts, we're looking more at the flow of the discussion and the engagement activities um, that we'll be doing on your training or during your live training. So after we document everything, um, we now proceed with the development phase. And this is where instructional designers and developers create and assemble the content assets that were blueprinted during the design phase. And so aside just from recording yourself to explain your content, in this phase, we can use uh, different software and authoring tools to make your content more engaging and interactive. Again, our goal is for your content to stand out to your competition. And one of the most common authoring tool that instructional designers use is Articulate 360. And let me show you an example of an interaction that is created in Articulate 360, or Storyline. So this is an interactive map wherein it, give, uh, it gives travel pack on each of the country that is uh, shown here. So this particular interaction is what we call a drag and drop interaction wherein we can drag an image or an icon to a certain area on your workspace. So for example, we're looking for the country where we can find pandas. So if we drop it in China, that will stick there. Uh, feral horses, let's try South Sudan. If it's, if it's not right, that will just go back to the original part. And if we put it in Australia, that will stick in there. So there's a lot of ways, again, for your course to become more interactive with less talking and less video recording. And your instructional design specialist will definitely uh, help you identify what's the best way to make your course interactive. And um, this interactions can also be integrated to uh, the course builder of Articulate, which is Articulate Rice, all right? And this is like a responsive web-based course builder that allows uh, instructional design uh, designers to create beautiful online course with just a few clicks. So we can do storytelling here. This is just an example of our RISE uh, course that we built. Uh, this is our like onboarding uh, course for our uh, new clients. So you can insert videos here, images, and some basic interactions as well to check for understanding. It is also idea, ideal to explain steps, like uh, this step that we have for our platform funneling. Right, so yeah, there's a lot of, uh, again, ways on uh, how we can make your uh, course interactive and engaging, and your instructional design specialist will be helping you with that. And all of this, can be packaged in a certain file that integrates well with Learn Roads. So because another thing that you have to consider when you're uh, building an online course is how your course will be packaged. Um, and in, in the e-learning space, you have to consider SCORM compliant courses and LMS. So earlier, uh, Robert mentioned about SCORM. And just to make it simple again, your course have learning content. It has modules, lessons, video, audio, assessment, report, and even the way you track the progress of the learners. Um, and it has to be packaged in a certain way that it integrates and communicates well to various e-learning software and products. So that is the scoring packaging. And what is the benefit of it? i uh, just like to emphasize it again, is that it ensures uh, that your e-learning content is compatible with your chosen LMS 
and it can integrate well with each other. So this gives you an opportunity to scale the delivery of your course to business to business because you can easily license your course and integrate it to the LMS of the company who wishes to get your course. Because those big companies out there, they have their own LMS. And if your course is quorum compliant, then you can easily uh, migrate it, integrate it to the LMS of those companies. And that makes your course more scalable and profitable in the future. All right. And next here is the implementation part. This is now how we will be implementing your course to, the, to your LMS uh, or your learning management system. And Learning Rules, again, is one of the uh, kind of LMS. Uh, this is way how this is how to implement it so that it can reach your target audience. And I'll be passing now the floor to to Arit so that she can talk more details about um, how we're going to implement her course to the LMS and reach her target audience. Thank you. Thank you so much, Vince. So I'm just going to share my screen here. All right, everybody. So um, hello and welcome. So my name is Orit, and I'm the Senior Implementation Manager here at Course Creek. Uh, I've spent a lot of time designing funnels and different platforms. And the next phase, really, after you build your course is is uh, is putting it up where, you know, basically taking it to market and building the infrastructure to start getting your students in and also scaling your business forward. And as coaches, we want to do this in a way that's going to um, not only scale your business, but cause the least amount of headaches. So what exactly is involved in this build of putting your course up online. So as you can see here, there are a few requirements. You need a website, ideally, that already has these things built in, like a landing page builder, opt-in forms, email marketing platform, payment processing. Uh, as you can see here, all of these things, you, you, you really need a robust platform here to bring your programs to life. And there are many course platforms and tools out there that specialize in one or more of these items here, but you really want a platform that's going to house most of these functions in place because it's going to keep things a lot simpler for you. And the problem is if you're um, if you're fiddling with separate platforms for, you know, a separate platform for landing pages, separate platform for community, for example, there's many places for things to go wrong, uh, more moving parts you have, right? And I've seen this happen in so many times in the 10 plus years that I've been working in the e-learning industry. So, for example, someone purchasing the course but not receiving access to the content area. So you really need something that's going to work like a well-oiled machine. Now, I've built, like I said, in many other course platforms, but I honestly love working in Learn Worlds personally, just because they don't just do one of these things well, they do all of these things well. And uh, meaning it's not just a landing page builder. It's not just a place to house your, your content and then having subpar functionality um, in other areas, right? So this is important. I want to touch upon this. Um, I'm not here to sell Learn Worlds specifically, but I'm I'm touching upon this to save you time and headaches because a lot of the times, you know, I see people, uh, coaches and consultants purchasing other platforms to make up for the functionalities where uh, the first one lacked. So with Learn Worlds, what you need here, it already has all of these things here for you. And at the very minimum, what you need to add on here is an email marketing tool. So Learn Worlds integrates with a few other uh, email marketing tools, but we often recommend ConvertKit to our coaches just because you can create some really cool automations. Uh, for example, as soon as a student finishes the course that they're taking, you can trigger an email going out to them with a promotion offering or upselling them to your one-on-one -on -one coaching or a higher ticket offer like a mastermind, if you remember that, that customer journey that Robert showed you. So at the very minimum, you need Learn Worlds or whatever LMS platform, and you need something that's going to have a good email tool 
to go along with it. The email marketing tool is non-negotiable because that's what's really going to help you scale your coaching business. A lot of the times people aren't ready to buy right away, right? So you want something that's going to be able to allow, allow those people to be part of your email list and continue connecting with them, nurturing them uh, so you can stay in touch with your future buyers. So if you're doing cohorts, so the, the live-based training, what you'll also need to add on here is a Zoom integration. And what's really nice about uh, Learn Worlds is um, when you're integrating with Zoom, it keeps everything in the course player. So your students will be able to join your live training uh, through the Learn Worlds platform, and they don't need to download and install the Zoom client or be taken somewhere else, for example. Everything happens within the course player in a cohesive learning experience. So this package of Learn Worlds, ConvertKit, Zoom, this is what's called your tech stack. And in order to keep costs down and problems from happening in the build, in the implementation of your programs, you want to keep your tech stack as simple as possible. So how do all these pieces work together? What you're looking at here is a marketing funnel strategy. And a marketing funnel is basically a series of stages to guide your visitors through this customer journey in an automated way, right? Really important, in an automated way. The funnel helps you or whoever's working on the strategy for you. Uh, it helps to measure your efforts in attracting, engaging, and converting site visitors, so people landing on your website or your course landing page, for example, um, into buyers through your content. So let's just look over here uh, on the bottom, on the bottom left corner. You can see here you'll for example, have traffic coming into these landing pages through paid advertising, SEO, or perhaps sharing this with your network. And for the most part, these people don't necessarily know who you are, right? If you're spending a budget on paid ads or time in sending traffic to your site, you absolutely have to nurture this traffic. In other words, to build trust and to let them know that they're in the right place and you're going to help them achieve their goals, whatever it is, whatever reason they landed on that page for. So all of this nurturing here is done, um, whether it's you know opting into your email list here, giving them a lead magnet, going through a sequence, or landing directly on your course landing page. All of these things here, in terms of building trust at every single stage, is done through proper messaging. And uh, as well as call to actions, clear call to actions. It's super important. And every funnel structure looks different, you know, depending on your goals. Uh, but the entire, um, the whole purpose behind this is that there is a strategy in place. It's not just someone coming to your site to take a course. You're really helping them on their journey through that transformation. And if they want even more um, in depth uh, uh, help, they can work with you one-on-one. -on -one. You know, you can upsell them to your, your coaching or your other programs like masterminds, VIP experiences, and that sort of thing. So I want to quickly show you an example here. Let's take a look at a case study that our team has built. I'm just going to switch screens here and show you this. All right. So what you're looking at here is a, actually a little switch here. What you're looking at here is an example of a course landing page that we've built for one of our clients. She's in the wellness industry. And this is built in Learn Worlds. And right off the bat, you know, we want to make things super simple, super clean, and speak to those pain points, the transformations that we're working on, um, helping your potential buyers and students achieve. Another thing that's important to recognize here is very clear call to actions, easily communicating features of your course, dropping in your course outline, and Learn Worlds makes it easy for you to do that with their modules. You don't have to sit here and type all of these things out. It's something that will pull from your course curriculum when you're building out this page and allow students to really see what it is that they're getting. You know, you could see here, um, downloadables are available um, and assessments and quizzes. So when the student's going through this course landing page, you're 
touch, you're, you're empathizing with them, you're letting them know they're in the right place and that you can help them on their journey. So when they click to enroll in your course, you're taking them to a checkout page that doesn't have any other distractions like you see here. They know exactly what they're getting. They're going to fill out their information. Um, usually there's a form here, but it's already filled out on my end, which is why you're not seeing it here. You're giving them an easy way to check out pay, PayPal or card or whatever it is. You can integrate with Stripe to, um, to give other payment methods, and then they hit buy. So what I want to show you on, um, on the once they get access access to the course player or the the curriculum is they'll be taken to you could either after they purchase take them to a thank you page you could take them to directly to the course curriculum so there's many different ways of customizing this and right away they'll be able to start their learning experience um this is like i said we built this for for one of our clients so you could see here there's a whole mix of different types of learning activities like videos and um for example we have here a self self assessment so self awareness you can hit start and you can get this data yourself learn worlds has great reporting tools last thing i want to show you really quickly here is remember the Articulate 360 that Vince was talking about, the SCORM files, which is basically a zip file that you can upload just like you would an MP4 for a video lecture. You would upload the SCORM file, and this makes it a super interactive lecture like this. Um, and remember, SCORM files are the port, it's the portable files that you could go then and take this and go sell B2B, your courses B2B. Like, for example, a company can purchase this course to provide wellness training for their employees. So right here, uh, this is an Articulate 360 lecture. You can see here how interactive it is. When I hit start, I'm taken immediately through the storyline with this character called Sarah and how she logs her nutrition um, in, in the cards here for the day. So everything responds to the learner's selections, which is really cool. So that's just a quick example here that I wanted to show you of a build and also emphasize the importance of, um, of the strategy, choosing the right strategy behind it, as well as not having trying to really minimize all of the moving parts involved in the build because it's going to cause a lot less headaches for you in the long run. So hope that was helpful for you. I'm going to pass it off to Robert now to wrap it up for us. Thank you, Ari. Um, I just uh, want to thank everybody for coming. And um, I think that uh, I shared my information in the text and all of that. So I don't want to take up any more time. I think we're going to listen to Sean now and hand back to Sean. Also, Sean. But thank you. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Robert, Ored, and, uh, and Vince for the presentation. It was uh, it was great. Just a couple of housekeeping points for me. First of all, the chat is back on since uh, I don't know thirty minutes ago. So if you have any any questions, you can pull them there. Preferably the Q and A section, so it will be easier for us to uh, uh, to identify and answer. Just to make sure. To, uh, I think I saw a couple of questions. We will, of course, share the recording of the presentation along with the with the decks uh, at the end. So don't worry about that. And we'll also give you access to one of our eBooks, which is specifically designed for uh, for coaching businesses about how to build your six figure coaching business online. And I think there you will see many of the things that we covered here today, and also particular features from within the platform that you can use for uh, uh, for uh, uh, for in a coaching uh, in one of the coaching scenarios you mentioned I, i've seen there's been lots of talk about squirm squirm just so that you know is a is kind of a premium feature the, this is usually a feature that you find in a platform that costs tens of thousands of dollars per per year this is why mostly enterprise businesses can have access to that but here you can also get it within a a, 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 a super cheap Learn World's, uh, 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 World subscription. So it's uh, it's one of the of the corporate features, but you, that you get effectively for free. So I'm passing over the button to Elisa, our instructional design expert from uh, from within Learn World, who will show you some uh, uh, the live usage of the platform and how you can implement some of the things that the Course Creek team uh, presented uh, earlier. Elisa. 
Hello, everyone. Um, I'm Elisa uh, here with LearnOlds, a learning uh, designer. Let me straight away just start sharing my screen and I'm going to show you more hands on um, examples. Uh, we're going to see a LearnOlds dashboard to see how we can implement some of the things that were mentioned from the other speakers. So I'm not going to waste uh, any more time. I'm going to start sharing my screen straight away. Do let me know if you can see this. <laughs> oh. Uh, right, so this is a Learnals dashboard, and uh, essentially, Learnals is, like we mentioned, a learning management system. It allows you to both create, manage, and sell uh, your coaching program. It allows you to establish your uh, business brand. That means that Learnals is, uh, can be completely white labeled. Uh, so from here, um, and we mentioned that that with Learn Worlds, you have you can have your landing page, you can have an after login page, you can create your courses, and that means as many courses as you want to. You can promote and market, and I'm going to elaborate on all the ways that uh, you have to sell, of course, as well. Uh, obviously, you can manage all of them together in one dashboard. And finally, we're going to touch up on the mobile app. Um, so how can you establish your brand, first of all? So if you go over to the Cybler option, you'll see that we have a concentrated place and we call it the Theme Explorer, where you can uh, choose your themes, your uh, brand's fonts, the colors, and all of that, just to further strengthen your brand. And all of that you can do from here. Uh, besides that, Learnals comes with its own site builder. So as uh, Ored mentioned, you don't need an external tool to build your sites and all the pages that you're going to need. Again, you can create as many pages as you want to. Uh, this is how the site builder looks like. Um, every element that you touch upon is customizable. You can add multiple sections and uh, really make the page however you have it in your mind. So besides uh, creating the pages, obviously, you can create courses as well. And uh, our courses are so easy to create. All you need to do is head over to this uh, courses button right here, click on create a course, and you'll need to follow this super easy uh, wizard right here, just six steps to create the course, right? And then just simply start filling this in with your content. I already have a few um, made ones just so that we are um, better with the time. Uh, so as we mentioned, um, Self-based and cohort courses are super important. LearnOlds has uh, and can offer a blended mo uh, model, means that you can combine both of them. And uh, this, I think, or it showed something like this. So, But this is the admin point of view of a course. So each one of your courses comes with all of these tabs so that you can configure all the different settings. Uh, the layout page is the, the course's layout. Um, the courses cover, if you may, over here, you can add any type of information that you feel like is going to promote the course right here. Um, right next to that, we have the content stuff. This is the most important one because this is where you create the learning activities. Uh, now, as you can see, there's a ton of learning activities that you can add, right? So you can add simple videos and even make those interactive. And let me just click on edit video so that I can show you all the different elements that you can add just to further enrich your videos. Um, and just really, it's really proven uh, that interactivity uh, really raises engagement as well. So you can add simple elements uh, like text right on top of your video. If you want to showcase something, uh, you can add videos. You can even add pointers and just highlight something on the video. Other interactions can include buttons. You can showcase your offers. You can have uh, short questions, right? Isn't that great? Perhaps in the middle of the video, just to a little um, perhaps test their knowledge, have a little multiple choice uh, question. And of course, you can also embed items as well. So this is when it comes to the um, interactive part of the video, but obviously uh, there's other activity types that you can add. Let's give this a moment to load. So besides the videos, you can add ebooks. Um, we mentioned live sessions as well. Obviously, we have a native integration with both uh, Zoom and WebEx. So that means you can have um, you're going to have to have an account with Zoom or WebEx connected to your school from the settings. And then you can have live sessions for your uh, users. Again, they're not going to need to download Zoom or WebEx. All they need to do is just enroll into your course and just tune in for whenever you have this event. Besides that, we have uh, self-assessments, we have exams, um, we have forms that you can build out and your users can use. And of course, we also have um, a native integration with Calendly. This has been recently added as well, where your learners can uh, book sessions with you, either that is one-to-one -one sessions or even group sessions, right? So quite a few options. Uh, we're just seeing this from the admin point of view, but I'm gonna go over to the uh, user's point of view um, in a little bit. 
so besides that, um, another very important topic is the marketing one, right? So how can you sell of these courses? So say you created that, it looks great. So uh, let me head over to the, actually, before I go there, I'd like to touch upon this feature because we mentioned that as well. Uh, so right here, we have the access onto your learning material, right? So we have what we call the drip feed feature. And this allows you to drip your content gradually in a timely way. Uh, but what's important is that this has two main modes, drip by date and drip by days. Now, this is my personal favorite. Drip by days really takes into account when the user enrolled into this course. And that way it programs when it's going to release the said content for that user. So really it's personalized for each user. It's different. You can set it so that a said section of activities is going to be available, let's say, a week after someone enrolls, right? And as you can imagine, it's going to be different for each user. If you enrolled a week ago, this is already available for you. If you enrolled today, you're going to have to wait um, X amount of days and so on. So a great feature right here just to control how your content is being released. Um, now, uh, let me go over to uh, the course player like um, Aura did. And there's two ways for you to do that. You can click right here as well. Let me just hide these uh, controls over here. And I'm going to preview and elaborate a bit more on the course player. Let me pause this right here. So uh, this is what it looks like. You got the main navigation panel to your left. From here, you can go back to the courses layout page. You can see your course's name, the progress into the course. Here's the path with all the activities. Simply just scroll through them. Um, if an activity is logged with the feature, that means that if um, it's not available for me yet, you're going to see a little lock icon right here where you're not going to be able to move past that activity. Um, over here, you can see all the different types. So how do the... Uh, how do the videos look like? You can add captions. You can add a transcript of whatever the speaker is saying right here. You can add all your interactive elements. Same goes with eBooks. Uh, eBooks also have some interactive elements and hidden tools for your learners. We wanted to make the eBook look as close to a real book as possible. So what we did is that we created a few tools. So if you select some part of the eBook, you'll see these lovely uh, little tool widget that's gonna pop up. It's gonna allow you to highlight parts of the text. You can star the text, you can add little uh, comments. And what's very interesting is that these comments, these markings right here will remain. So if you exit the course, if you come back, you're gonna find it right here, unless you manually choose to remove these uh, markings. Um, let's see anything else right here. We did see the videos. So obviously if you have, um, live sessions, right? Zoom sessions are going to show something like this. Right here, I haven't started this one, so that's why you're seeing this. But if I was a learner and if the session was live, I'd be able to join the session straight from here without necessarily having to exit uh, the course layer right here. Um, this is a, an, an assessment tool. Uh, we have um, a bunch of options from regular formal exams. They're hybrid. That means that they can combine both closed and open-end questions as well. Self-assessment tools. Um, forms um, are right here. You got a form where you can uh, with a survey. And like I mentioned earlier, you can also allow your users to book one to one sessions with you or uh, group sessions via Calendly. And this is how that would look like. And uh, super easy to do that from here. Uh, let's see what else I didn't mention. Um, the pricing option. So this is uh, extremely important and Learnals actually offers quite a few ways on how to sell your courses, right? Uh, obviously, we have the one-off payment option where your learners are just simply going to pay once and have access to your course. There's also options that include uh, installment plans. So, you know, if you have perhaps a, a little bit more of a um, more expensive course, you can allow them to pay in parts and bits and that thus make it easier for them. So you can create payment plans. Besides that, you can create bundles. You can combine multiple choices in one bundle in one product and sell it with a discounted price. You can create discount coupons and either promote it into your page or it could be and it could target a specific user or perhaps even offer it as a reward if it's a loyal uh, customer. Uh, what's very interesting is also the subscriptions. So it's a great way to create recurring revenue. You can create subscription plans from here as well and the coupons uh, that I mentioned. Um, besides that, you can also customize the course player. So that can be done from here. And uh, what else I didn't mention? Let me see. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. I mentioned most things. Uh, let me also touch upon um, the community feature. And then we are uh, going to see actually, let me just say straight from here because I didn't mention that. 
So uh, in the community feature, your learners are able to communicate with each other and of course with the instructors as well from the school. And there's two ways for them to do that. So one is to do it straight uh, from the discussion tab right into the course, right? So, and you can set, you can have settings on the privacy of this discussion. This could either remain private only for learners enrolled into this course, or you can choose to share this with a general community of the school. Uh, so from here, your learners can either ask questions, they can interact with each other, they can have comments, they can like, uh, they can follow each other, they can have direct messages and, and all of that, either from the discussion over here or if they go over to the general uh, community of the school. Let me show you that um, over here as well. So again, this is from the admin point of view, but I'm gonna show you uh, how it looks like from the user's point of view as well. So from here, you're also able to manage all the um, elements of the community as well. Um, let me switch my screen actually and show you. Let me make sure I have it on. And show you how it looks like from the user's point of view besides just seeing the course. Uh, and let me know if you can see it right now. All right, so right now I'm signed in as a user and not an author. Uh, so what we're seeing right here is the after login page. So what your user is going to see right after they log in. Obviously, this is also customizable. You get to decide what to show right here. Uh, they got a few options. They can see their profile and the community as well. And that's what I wanted to show you. This is uh, connected to the discussion tab that we briefly saw into the course player, but of course it's a separate page as well for them to interact with each other. They can even create uh, groups, they can mention, they can have friends, polls, and of course make posts, uh, like, share, comment, and all of that. So a very, very strong feature um, just to have them interact with each other. Besides that, they can also see all of the courses available if you opt for that, um, if they want to purchase a course. Uh, like we mentioned earlier, call to action buttons for a uh, very, very uh, profound, they show right there. And right here, you can see that um, if a course offers multiple ways for payments, you can also choose to showcase that and give them the choice, you know? Do you wanna buy this by a one-off payment? You can do that from here. Do you wanna do this with installment plans? This one offers for uh, plans via bundle with subscription plans. So anything that you want to, multiple ways for you to sell other courses as well. Uh, so that's from the user's point of view. This is how it looks like. Uh, let me also just go back and uh, show you from here. Just one last thing. So uh, everything uh, besides taking it online, we also wanted to take this up a notch. And we have also our very own mobile app filter. So if, if you're interested in taking all of this mobile and have your learners being able to just access, you know, the courses from wherever they are, uh, or if they're in the mall, you can uh, opt for the mobile app. Um, those uh, both include the iOS and uh, the Android app. The mobile app builder itself is super easy to uh, to go through, to create the app. And of course, there's also guidance from learners uh, along the way. And uh, if, if you need anything uh, from here. I think that's pretty much it for me. I, I don't believe I left anything uh, out. Obviously, if there's anything you'd like to ask, you can do that. So let me stop sharing my screen. Panos, back to Thank you. Thank yeah, you. thanks, thanks, Elisa, for the presentation. It, it's great. I have to admit that every time you present the platform, I keep discovering new functionality, either things that has been just added to the platform or you know, making new connections about the flexibility and the power of having how these things can be connected. Uh, very quickly, I'm just launching a very quick poll with a couple of, uh, of questions here. Just one question, just to understand a bit more about whether the audience is now thinking or creating or is currently running a coaching pro program. And I'm super happy to, pa to be passing the button over to Sean Callagy, Chief Visionary Officer and Confounder at Unblinded. The ball is over at your court. No, thank you so much. It's an honor and privilege to be here with everyone. Uh, couldn't appreciate it more. We, we are a customer and client of Learn World. And in coming here today, we were not asked to promote, share anything um, from our hearts about it. Uh, but I will tell you, it has been a remarkable platform incredibly effective for us. And I think it's the only way to go in the space. Um, but that's not what I'm here to do singularly. What I'm here to do is to add value for you. But first I ask the question of why are you here? And again, my name is Sean Callagy. Why are you here? And you're here today because you want something more. 
you want something more. And the more that you want, we categorize in three different ways. One, you want more money. Uh, second, you want more time freedom. And third, you want more magic. Which of those is the most powerful for you? You want to create more financial resources from your business or you have all the financial resources that you want from your coaching business? Or second, do you want more time and scaling? You know, Do you have clients and things are working really well and you're tired and you're frustrated and you want to create more duplication scalability as the beautiful speakers have been referring to and more freedom? Or third, do you have the money, do you have the time and you're really looking to create magic and impact? Which are those for you? Which one of those? And so for today, I want to speak into why what this message is going to be in the next 28 minutes or so is going to be supporting you and accelerate your money and or your time scalability and or your magic. 25 years ago, um, knowing I was going blind and I'm blind, I can't see anything on the screen in front of me. Um, I realized that in a service-based business, in a service-based business, the ability to generate clients, presuming competency in the service, and we presume competency for all of you, but presuming competency in the service, the ability to generate clients determined what your business would be worth and who was in control of the business. Peter Drucker, the greatest management consultant um, recognized by most as such in history, said that business is nothing more than marketing and innovation. So, I went out to learn how to do this starting in 1997 and remarkable results happened. I graduated from law school. I had uh, no money. I had $100,000 in debt. And I set out to see if personal development actually worked for people. People invested in courses and they spent time, they spent energy. And what I was committed to determining was whether or not it was integrous, if it actually worked. And what I came to learn is much of it wasn't integrous and didn't actually work. And some of it did. And my life's mission became how to bring that forward to people. Um, P.S. I wasn't born a business developer. I was relatively introverted growing up. Um, I knew I was going blind. I was an athlete as I grew up. That was my first access to personal development. But I failed freshman high school geometry for the year. Uh, I ran for class president in seventh grade and only got a few votes. And I share those things. So as I tell the story of what's possible for you, what's possible for you in building, growing, and scaling your coaching business, that we don't have uh, the key objection, which is, well, maybe, Sean, you could do that, but I can't. Um, if we were to list all of our IQs here collectively, I am very confident that my IQ would not be higher than the 70th percentile amongst the group here could be lower, a hair higher. No way I'm in the top percent of the brilliant minds that are here today. So if it's not IQ, I also don't think it's just EQ because potential isn't the issue. It's what we actually do with it. And so often for each of us in growing, building, scaling our programs, so we have people consuming the amazing opportunities that these speakers here talk about today and Learn, Will, Learn, Learn World provides. Because imagine spending all the energy and time and resources not having anybody there in the early 2000s uh, after I had already built a successful coaching and training company. So I sell my law firm. Well, let's go back and share that piece really quickly. And I, in 2002, I enter coaching school. 20 years ago. And I attended IPEC. And I was one of the first IPEC graduates in the first in the hundreds. So the early graduates. And 30 people. And we had dreams together of how we were going to help change the world. Who was going to help people with their health and their business and their heart and their family and relationships. And a year later, 36 people graduated, 35 of them were no longer coaching. 35 of the 36 did not have a coaching business. I had a thriving one. I was doing $100,000 a month in revenue in my coaching business in the first year with no paid advertising in 2003. And all these beautiful souls and incredible people we're struggling massively. 
I wasn't smarter. I definitely wasn't more emotionally intelligent. These were remarkable people. But there had to be something that separated that acceleration and progress. That coaching business was tremendously su successful. I had exited my first law firm that I built. I exited my coaching company. And the reason I exited it was because I became very present to that building a coaching and training business, the scale that I desired to was going to take nights and weekends. This is again in 2004, five, six. And I didn't want to work nights and weekends because my children uh, who had just become activity age, sports and other activities were my priority. And so I said, you know, I'm going to put this, the coaching and training of the world on the back burner. And I'm going to build a second law firm, create a business ownership as Michael Gerber and the E-Myth would talk about business ownership, not operatorship. And I'm going to come back to this. So in 20, when my kids are older, so my children played more than a thousand sporting events and other activities in their childhood. And I missed nine, a total of nine. So more than 99.9% .9 of their events, I had the privilege of attending because I knew there was a science of building and growing a service-based business, which of course includes coaching, which, and I had this incredibly successful coaching business. So in 2018, after I had read long before that, the, the Gary Vaynerchuk book, Crush It, um, and he shared, you know, go shoot videos and go develop relationships. And I listened to him and I started shooting videos. And the video I'm about to share with you for 30 seconds or so, so buckle your seatbelt because you're going to see me at my coolest and most powerful and most amazing. And it might be so overwhelming for you that you will pass out as though Elvis is speaking to you. That's how amazing I am in the beginning of my shooting videos, or maybe not. Uh, so let's roll that video. And when you watch this, again, think of how actually horrific I was. Why not? Let's go. I hope Thanksgiving was fantastic for you, and it is Fun Friday, episode number 26 of Why Not on November 27th. What better fun Friday could we have than the day after Thanksgiving? And it is Black Friday. If your fun is going to the malls and shopping and looking for deals... All right, let's stop this painful... Team Tink is rolling the slides. Let's stop this painful. And so what I had learned is you have to get yourself out there. You have to be online. And that's my 26th Why Not video. And the first 25 were even worse. So when you begin to think about your business, the value-based question we begin with is who are you? And who are you to three critical groups of people? Who are you as a coach? Number one. Number two, who are you as an ecosystem partner? An ecosystem is any self-identifying group of people. Learn World is an ecosystem. Coaches of the world are an ecosystem. Um, Tony Robbins himself is an ecosystem. Lawyers are an ecosystem. American lawyers, an ecosystem. New Jersey lawyers, an ecosystem. And on and on and on. So who are you to your potential key ecosystem partners? And third, who are you as a speaker? The answer to those three questions are essential to build, grow, and scale your coaching and training business. Once I effectively applied my own work and formula for how I built my law firm and my first coaching company to my current company, Unblinded, as we sit here in our Unblinded studios, I began to realize that how fast this could go was beyond comprehension. So in 2018, I walked into a Tony Robbins event as a blind lawyer from New Jersey, unable to see a single face, incapable of networking, which I tremendously teach against, against, still unable to do it. And I was thinking, how am I possibly going to build this business? What can I do as a blind man in the world today? Maybe I should run Facebook ads. Maybe I should, I don't know, shoot more videos, but nobody was watching my videos. I felt heartbroken and frustrated knowing 
like maybe some of you, that I had such magic to deliver to people in the world related to their superpower of integrous influence. It's how I created a 125 person law firm. It's how I built a million dollar plus coaching business with no advertising. And how I currently own a 125 person law firm that does well into the eight figures in addition to my multi-million dollar coaching business, but I had no idea how to get to that. But I just wanna share with you that every, a video in a moment. And this video is a representation of getting clear on who I was as a coach, who I was and am as an ecosystem partner, and who I am as a speaker. Because those three things combined, as I will articulate in a moment, that's gonna change everything in the acceleration of your coaching business with integrity, of course. And as you watch this for a minute, just think about, I didn't know any of these people. This video was made about two years ago. And two years before it, I didn't know any of the people in it. You'll see the number one woman in banking in America, Chinway, Harvard Law grad. You'll see world champion triathlete, prominent international speaker, Siri Lindley. You'll see Tony Robbins. You'll see Jay Abraham. You'll see uh, the remarkable creator of Chicken Soup for the Soul, Jack Canfield, and Les Brown. You'll see somebody whose business went from eight sales meetings to a thousand, they say 300 in the video, it's now over a thousand uh, with our work. And as you watch it, think of this fact. I paid none of these people to be in the video. And this exact same potential is available for you. And the intentional creation of ecosystem partners who are edifying you with integrity, because each of these people I had added value to their life in a different way. So let's roll this video and think of who are these potential people that you may know already. I didn't know any of these people or people you can create relationships with. And we will end our time today explaining to you exactly how to create the relationships. So please watch this two minute or so video. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Do you have absolute certainty on how you go from hello to yes on what you're looking for? Sean is a master. He teaches. It's not just about sharing the formula with you. It's about making sure that we learn. I went from $100,000 in debt from law school to having no money and starting my own law firm on my credit card to selling it four years later. Sean and I, we co-created massive victories in two unwinnable jury trials, which are recognized nationally now as top 100 jury verdicts. To be even on the same track with you, who I respect and admire and love with all my heart. Never again submit. You're not better and you're not less than any human on earth. When you share with us about the unblinded process and the, the mastery sales training, I just went, wow. Sean will gain proximity to the most influential and powerful people. He will find out how he can grow their business, how he can help them personally. But the third thing that he does is the most important. Sean serves without an expectation of getting anything in return. You have very, very high performing colleagues. 22 years ago, you transformed my life as you did all these people's lives over the course of time. And I couldn't be more great. Let's hear from Tony Robbins. I don't see him as a lawyer and I don't see them as a blind person. Someone who has subjugated his ego, who has taught me what serving really looks like. You have this incredible ability to just have unconditional love for everyone, and that is just an incredible gift. The moment you have been waiting for. Uh, the American Blind Association is the first new face and voice of that association since Helen McKellar. Formula more formulas, which is exactly what I've learned from Sean. It's a language-based predictable model. We will have over 300 new sales meetings this month. This superpower in the world that is attainable for you is the ability to influence people. If you believe that, say yes. Yeah. If you believe that, say yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that. Do so, you think that works? I was the same person in video number one and video, video number two, two, and they were created a little more than two years apart. So who is there to help social proof 
and edify you as you go on your journey? Who is it that you're going to co-create relationships with to get in front of audiences of extraordinary people that you can serve and support to build your coaching and training business? Where do I sit today? We have hundreds of businesses in our programs right now. Um, we have, thank you, thanks to Learn World, we have an academy with modules. We have an academy that has uh, segments of so many pieces of different uh, sub uh, trainings that we've done. We have an, a, a daily program, a cohort, where we bring live people together to practice the superpower of influence every single day. We have huddles for people to start their day. We have mastery training sessions Tuesday and Thursday evenings, and we have group and individual coaching. That program wouldn't exist without the structure of Learn, Learn World and the Academy, which we couldn't be more grateful for. And it also wouldn't exist if we were unable to go out and create clients on a daily basis. And I want to give you a couple of simple and more complex examples. But to do what we're saying here, let's just give a quick shot of what I am absolutely certain is the formula to grow and build everything. And please take a, a screenshot of this for you. It is, there are three components to creating all of the business growth you would want, um, you, you could ever want. One is your process mastery. That's what you do, it has four components. Uh, starting with modeling, time blocking, maximizing through measuring and monitoring, and vertical versus horizontal innovation, of course, which unpack into hours and hours of content. It has influence mastery, which is if you know what you're doing, how, and we're going to explain more specifically the what you do part in a moment to give you some powerful takeaway. Second is influence mastery, which is how you go from hello to yes, because you could have all of the greatest contacts and connections in the world. You can have the greatest speaking opportunities in the world. But if you're unable on an individual integrous influence basis or a group integrous influence basis to have people see the truth of how extraordinary you are, nothing happens because the world is inundated with messaging. The world is overwhelmed with hearing from coaches, lawyers, financial service providers, it is inundated with information, overwhelmed at the highest level. Facebook ads are extraordinarily challenging to work with and profit from. I'm not saying it's impossible. Organic build online takes a, a very meaningful amount of time. One of my partners who's in that video, Chris Crone, has millions of subscribers online uh, between the, the multitude of platforms. And that took him almost a decade to build. Now, has it been worth it? Yeah, he makes, he's got, multiple, multiple eight-figure business uh, in the space of coaching and training alone. He's got a nine-figure real estate portfolio created as a byproduct of that coaching and training business for secondary income sources, but it takes a long time to build organically, right? So if it's not going to be organic and it's not going to be paid, then what do I profess it is? Now, P.S., I think paid and organic are unbelievable supplements. We'll get to that in a second. But whether it's paid, whether it's organic, or what I'm going to talk about, which is the direct creation of intentional shared experiences, you still need to go from hello to yes. And to do that, there are four steps, 12 indispensable elements, and four vital energies. We'll give you one takeaway in that space before we head out today. One vital one, the core overarching one. And finally, it takes the most critical piece, which is your ability to self-master. And what I'm going to share with you today, most of you probably are not going to want to hear, but it is the truth. And our fear of failure and our fear of rejection destroys our ability to see truth and accept truth, and it causes us to not see what we don't see. And I could get on here today, and I could lie to you, and I could inspire you, and I could touch your hearts with integrity because your hearts matter. Your dreams matter. And what I am obsessively pulled towards is supporting people with heart, with truth, and a combination of both. So we cause the money, time, and magic we seek 
from our coaching, training, consulting world because the world needs us and the world needs us more than ever before. So how do we do this? What is this key thing that I'm talking about? Well, here's the truth. All business is built on relationships. No kidding, Sean. All relationships, and maybe you're a little bit less present to this one, but probably quite present to it. All business, I'm sorry, all relationship is built on shared experience. Hmm, yeah, that makes sense. Like every person you've ever developed a relationship with, you've had shared experiences with. Any person who's been your significant other, your family, friends, business partners, clients, there's been some shared experience that's occurred either virtually or in person. They watched the video of yours. You had dinner. You had an event. You ran a podcast. You did something with them. It's a shared experience. So if all business is built on relationship and all relationship is built on shared experience, so there's a very fundamentally logical question. How do you, I, we run the most efficient shared experiences in terms of money, time, and energy with our ultimate partners for ecosystems, with our ultimate speaking opportunities, and our ultimate clients. I'll say it one more time. So logically, the question becomes, how do we create the optimal speaking engagements, I'm sorry, the optimal shared experiences with people that are our ideal avatar for ecosystem partner, for clients, and for speaking in the most efficient manner in money, time, and energy. Now, that's a 100-hour course, but I'll condense something very, very quickly in our final few minutes together for an absolute takeaway. And if you follow just this advice and we never speak again, you will create the coaching and training business of your dreams, and you will service your clients beautifully and optimally in all the different sorts of ways you've heard so far, from cohorts to online programs to one-on-one -on -one and group coaching and the Learn World platform serving you as it, I am so grateful, serves my world. So it is this, run a shared experience with six people to eight people, every single day. Run a shared experience online with six to eight people every single day. Go, what are you talking about? Well, I'm talking about exactly what I said. And here's the challenge. Start with one per week for the next 30 days, the next month. Then in month two, progress to two per week, month three, three per week, month four, four per week. By month five, we'll be in September, October, November, December. In January, you will be at, and January is going to come, God willing, we're all healthy and survive to January. And when January comes, you'll be running a shared experience with six to eight people every single day. And that will mean you will have, even working at the low number of six, 120 people per month knew that you're having a shared experience with virtually for one hour per day. That will create three things. One, it will create an, a massive amount of complimentary coaching sessions for you to run through with. You go, hold on a second. I'm here because I want to run online stuff and I want to get away from one-on-one -on -one coaching. True. But for most of us, to create a flow of people coming into our programs, having one-on-one -on -one sales conversations with you, with yourself or someone else is necessary and optimal. And we have pricing structures that I would recommend to you that would make it worth your time and a while. But besides one-on-one -on -one clients coming into your programs, there's two other key things that create the exponential leveraging to have your business be completely different in 2023. The second piece is you're going to be sourcing ecosystem partners. And I'll give you some examples in a moment. So second is ecosystem partners. And third, you're going to be creating speaking engagements. 
So one, two, three. Clients, ecosystem partners, speaking engagements. So here's how all of that fits together. First, we, what kind of shared experience? What am I going to do? Well, we run a daily show called The Heart of Influence. And here's the fun part. We now have six to eight people on every single day, twice a day, moving towards three times a day. So at twice a day, we have 240 people per month, and we're about to get to three times a day, which is 360 people per month come on mm -hmm. our show. It causes speaking engagements for me and training programs with companies like Disney, T-Mobile, major law firms, speaking on stages like Tony Robbins 16 times, opening the actual Jerry Maguire, Lee Steinberg, that's his name, Lee Steinberg, is the number one sports agent in history with the most first, most first round picks ever in National Football League history. And we had the privilege of opening his Super Bowl party of 3,000 people. And now we're in deep talks to create a deeper partnership in many different ways. And Chris Crone stage. And Chris Crone, again, has millions of folks online. And Chris calls me to sustainably raise money for his charity and promote what I do in his world. And in my beautiful introduction, which I'm very grateful for, we recently raised $2.6 million in three hours at Chris's event, which wasn't a fundraiser for Ukraine relief after Chris and I had gone to the Ukraine and had missiles fly over our heads on a Sunday in Kyiv. We've raised almost $4 million for the Ukraine. I've raised $3 million for blindness. And I have an outcome of raising $10 million this year for charity with me directly on the microphone. In the time that we raised it in, I haven't been calling people asking them for money. I've been co-creating ecosystem mergers in a concept we've trademarked now called, well, we're about to trademark, called sustainable giving. We've coined it. We're working on the trademark for sustainable giving and the copyright. And so the point, the point is I had no coaching clients until 2020. We ran our first event and we had 1,300 people come to the event and we had no paid advertising. We created all of it through ecosystem merging and through speaking engagements. And for each and every person here, you're smarter than me, many of you. You have a higher EQ than I do. Every one of us are fully capable of building the coaching business we want with the money, time, and magic if we will get outside of our comfort zone. So how do we put all these people on the show and what do you call them up and just go, hey, come on my show? Yes and no. Every single business person, accountant, lawyer, financial service provider, mortgage person, real estate person, coach, speaker, trainer, author, you name the person. They all want to meet someone else, all of them. And what we cause for all of these people is we cause them to come onto our show and meet each other. I've had Jay Abraham on our show, Les Brown on our show, uh, professional athletes, NFL Hall of Famers, MLB Hall of Famers. And we've had local lawyers, accountants, financial service providers, coaches, trainers, I've had best selling New York Times uh, authors like Dolph DeRoos, who's spoken on stages all over the planet and bought our program. Believe this. Or not, but it's true. Jack Canfield bought our program, author of Chicken Soup for the Soul, because of we decided who we were going to be in the world. And we co created that identity with extraordinary other people through shared experiences. These shows that we do, they came as a byproduct of COVID. For so many of us, we get fearful and concerned about negative things that occur. It's very normal. We have our fear of failure and fear of rejection. Me too. When COVID hit, everything I taught and believe was about speaking engagements in person. And that's an incredible thing that we teach and train on. But when COVID hit, we couldn't have live speaking engagements anymore. So I decided we had to innovate and create something new 
And that's when these virtual shared experiences were born. And you might say, oh, like a podcast. No, it's not like a podcast. Because in a podcast, the edification needs to be of your podcast guest. I'm not saying not to do a podcast. But when people are doing a podcast once or twice a month, we're doing shows every single day, multiple times per day. And your podcast might be for viewership, but how much viewership is there actually? And what actually occurs from it, our show is to connect with the people on the show in a virtual version of lunch or dinner in a gamified, more optimal way. So my advice, my, my, my absolute coaching at a masterful level is to decide what shared experience do you want to run? And follow that progression of once a week to five times a week by January, and then to begin scaling up from there. But here's the most magical part of it. The most magical part of it is that now we don't fill our shows. Our clients do. And you go, you make your clients fill the shows? What is this, network marketing? No, no, no. Our clients are people like Andrea Catania, who's invited me to speak next week at the 9,000 member National Investment Banking Association. She's taking two to 300 companies public. Andrea isn't into network marketing and filling our show for us. Andrea fills our show with remarkable people because then we cross edify her. And because of the people and places I've been at, Andrea gets edified and gets more people into her ecosystem through the social proofing that we provide for her. And as you progress through this process, of growing your platform, growing your shared experiences. And and we are at a place now where we have 42 signed partnerships to fill our shared experiences with us on our way to 63. The first 42 were for our clients. The next 21 are going to be for people with enormous platforms. And those joint shared experiences keep an exponentiality about them in ecosystem partnerships and speaking engagements and clients, where now I'm backfilling shows with other amazing people on my team, creating more and more opportunities for coaches, speakers, trainers, authors through the platform that we've created. So I will pause there and say this in in final, final. The key distinction is, will you block time to contact online and by telephone, old school style, human beings you don't know. You go, cold call? No, no, we don't cold call anyone. But we do invite people to our show that we don't know yet. And we cause geographic intentional line. You go, that's a lot of work. Well, what I think is a lot of work is not doing this and seeing your business grow because once it's built, it begins to flow more and more abundantly and easily. And in my heart, I've been in this space for 20 years now. And I see so many coaches frustrated that never make the money they want. I see some that do, very few. And those people are overwhelmed and burnt out, as our other brilliant, beautiful speakers have shared. And they're exhausted. And then there's a microscopic few who get to a place of building their own platform and having multiple streams of revenue and income come out of it. And if you follow just what I shared today, you will increase your probability, and I mean this number authentically, by 100x. And our gift out of gratitude to Learn World and for you being here today is to have access for a month to our program and our Learn World platform. And it's not just the online part, it's also the cohorts. When you can meet other people, our only request is please don't come into our program just to solicit people. There's no rule, there's no law against it. Please don't come into our space to do that. If you do, you will miss the entire point. But if you come in to learn and grow and potentially partner down the line, then you have received exponentially massive value in return for your beautiful investment of time, energy, and focus here today.
I couldn't thank Worm World enough. Definitely work with these amazing folks uh, and definitely take us up on this offer. Final note, five people this weekend paid $250,000 to charity for the Ukraine to fly in in a private jet and come stay in my beach house for the weekend and to learn this material. Take us up on the offer. It's not an exaggeration. They didn't pledge it. They paid it. A quarter of a million dollars, five people fly by private jet to come to my beach house for the weekend. The material they were learning from me directly is what you'll be learning from me in this program live and virtually for a month as our guests. Again, it's a thank you to Learn World. My name is Sean Callagy. The link will be in the chat. I'm happy to stay around for any questions if that's appropriate. But if not, thanks for being here. God bless and take your work to the world. The world needs you. Thank you, Sean, for the amazing and inspiring presentation. I'm always humbled by the people who have managed to get into our events and uh, for them, I'm super grateful for you sharing your uh, your story and your transformational journey with the LearnWorlds ecosystem. I think that this has been an amazing event in terms of not just covering the basics and the technical aspects of how things can run, but also we managed to to tap into the, the, the potential and the mindset and uh, some great advice on how you can keep expanding your, your business and how you should think about your business. And I think Sean is, uh, and uh, the Unblinded Academy is one of the most successful schools that run on LearnWorlds. And our job here, our, our mission here in LearnWorlds is to help all of you become as successful as, as you can. And I know that uh, there are some amazing schools that are, that are running and this is what we're trying to do to share all this expertise and to, to help you untap your, your potential. I'm afraid that we don't have any more time for Q&A. I see, I've seen lots of people uh, uh, already mentioning that they have to, uh, to, to log off shortly. Uh, we managed to, I think we, we covered if several dozens of questions in the, in the chat and you, you have all our contact details. Thank you for uh, Course Creek team for sharing your, um, uh, also your contact details and your offer. Thank you, Sean, for sharing your passion and uh, the, your transformational journey, and also the invitation for the team to join your uh, to, to join your your community. Uh, I have also to mention that we just did uh, a few minutes ago uh, the draw among all the registrants of today's event, who were about uh, about a thousand people. So we have a winner. It's Tom uh, Bloomers. Uh, uh, who is getting a, a nice little pack, our, a little giveaway, a nice little pack of um, a, a microphone, uh, a light and a camera. Hopefully that's something that can help you create more and more engaging uh, content to share with your, with your audience. We'll also uh, contact you directly via, via email. I think probably Tom is, I saw him earlier uh, online, so he's probably around. In any case, we'll make sure to, to reach out. You will get the recording. You will get the ebook that we mentioned. You already have the offers from uh, from Course Creek and uh, and on Blind and then Sean. So thank you everyone for being part of this event. I I definitely go away very much inspired about what is possible, and uh, we are super excited about the transformation that is happening of the coaching space and how this industry is growing and how we see more professional, more dedicated, and more inspiring schools being launched every day. We are super happy to become your technology partners and help you get your businesses, your coaching businesses to the next level and to keep uncover and discover things and learn from each other and, uh, and help this uh, community grow. Thanks everyone for participating. Uh, we're super happy to have you as part of the, of the broader ecosystem.